What's up, study buds? We're back for another episode of the amazing story of Calculus. I am your study bud, Lyle, and today, we will continue what we have started about limits. From our last video, we got two important notes on limits. The first, finding a limit in math under any circumstance shows where the value of a function, a graph, a sequence of numbers, or even physical operations is headed, whether it will reach that point or not. And the second one is that the limit at a point only exists when both its left and right hand limits coincide. The second point underscores the criteria for the existence of limits. In this video, we'll flesh out that basic principle. There are three general situations where the limit does not exist at a point. The first one, when one-sided limits are not equal. Next, when the function grows too large. And lastly, when the function oscillates around that point. The graph of the piecewise function f of x is 0 for x less than 0, and 1 for x greater than or equal to 0 illustrates the first case for non-existence of limits. This is an example of a step function. Take a look at its graph. The left-hand limit of the function as x approaches 0 is 0, while its right-hand limit as x approaches 0 is 1. As you can see, the one-sided limits are not equal. Thus, the limit doesn't exist. Symbolically, it appears like this. The limit of f of x as x approaches 0 is equal to d and e. d and e means does not exist. So whenever you see d and e, it means that the limit doesn't exist. The second case where the limit doesn't exist is when the function grows too large. That is when the graph approaches negative infinity or positive infinity. Let's try to find the limit of g of x as x approaches 0. g of x is equal to 1 over x for x not equal to 0 and 0 for x is equal to 0. So from the graph, we see that the limit of g of x as x approaches 0 from the left is equal to negative infinity and the limit of g of x as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to positive infinity. Take note that a limit that takes on infinity as its value is not valid since infinity is not a number and more of a concept. So technically, when this happens, the limit doesn't exist. However, we write infinity as the limit to make it easier to visualize the behavior of the function around that point. Given that we accept infinity as a possible limit, still, the two-sided limit for g of x does not exist since the left and right hand limits are different. Now how about when both limits tend to the same infinity? Let's take a look at the graph of y is equal to 1 over x squared and find its limit as x approaches 0. Both the left and right hand limits are positive infinity. So the limit of y as x approaches 0 is positive infinity. However, Bear in mind that the limit still doesn't exist, since infinity is not a number and more of a concept. We just write infinity because it is a good way of visualizing the behavior of the function. The third case is where the limit doesn't exist at a point because the function oscillates around that point. Let's take a look at the graph of f of x is equal to sine of 1 over x. What is the limit of this function as x approaches 0? Well, we're not sure since the graph oscillates between the values of negative 1 and positive 1, and it does not stay close to any number. Thus, the limit of sine of 1 over x as x approaches 0 does not exist. And there you have it, study buds! Those are the three general cases where the limit of a function doesn't exist. Remember those three cases. The first, when one-sided limits are not equal. Next, is when the function grows too large. And finally, when the function oscillates around that point. 
As you may notice, we've been analyzing limits through graphs. That's true given that the easiest way to understand limits is using its geometric or graphical interpretation. Thus, it's extra advantageous for you if the graph of the function is given. In our next video, we will analyze and even solve limits algebraically, so stay tuned! Again, this is your study bud, Lyle. Thank you for listening.